Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are, Belisa. Welcome to our channel. What adventure awaits? Well, we're gonna find out, I'll tell you. This is the key to the van. <laughs> I had to box the steering wheel. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. And you're a will, and I've got a way. <laughs> Six feet away, social distancing. <laughs> Don't come any closer. <laughs> Keep your social distance. I'm going to double my distance from you. I need double. Uh oh. You want double the social distance? We're gonna play by their rules. Oh yeah. Check in please. Hit the push. We know there's no day passes, so we actually got a reservation this time. Yeah, we have a reservation. <laughs> oh, did you make it today? Yes. Yes. Alright. We're heading to our favorite spot. It's just around the tot lot. Right around the country store. You can get some dip and dots. Heading to our favorite spot. Perfection. Thank you. I got the brake on. I was talking about me. <laughs> As you all know, we are all practicing social distancing right now because of the virus. And we live here in California. In California, there has been a stay at home order put in place that is basically telling everyone you need to stay at home, you need to be self contained, only go out for emergencies groceries, food, things like that. For the last week, week and a half, because we work from home, so we're inside all day anyway, and especially now with this virus, we've had to stay inside even more and can't be socializing with people. We've been coming here to the Thousand Trails Campground. Every evening we pick up some dinner, we rent a movie from Redbox, and we come here. And this is our way of getting out of the house, but because our van is self-contained, it's safe. 
We're not spreading the virus, getting the virus, anything like that. Today, we went out and did some grocery shopping this morning and we already knew we wanted to come to the campground this evening. We decided that because the campground is pretty close to the grocery store we were going to, that we would just swing by and go ahead and get our day pass. Unfortunately, when we got here, we were told that because of the coronavirus, they are no longer giving day passes here, which was devastating to us because this is our safe way to get out of the house and, um, you know, like I said, it's still safe. We aren't in any, having any interactions with people other than each other. We're just right here. We can watch a movie. That's dangerous here. enough. <laughs> so we were totally bummed. But one of the suggestions that the gal had at the front was to just try to make a reservation. We pulled out and we actually just pulled over to the side of the road here, just right outside the campground. And we put in a call to Thousand Trails to schedule a reservation so that we could come back tonight. But when we called, all reservations were full. They didn't have any open reservations available until April 1st. That's like a week away. And we really wanted to be able to come tonight, especially to have a reason to get out of the house. We were kind of sad about it. We went home and I started thinking, my wheels started turning and I started thinking, I wonder if there is another way for us to get a reservation to be able to get in tonight. I went on the website, I did double check online that there were no RV campsites available at Thousand Trails at Wilderness Lakes tonight. None, they were all gone. However, I noticed that they had something called a tent site and that tent sites were available. I went ahead, logged in, made a tent site reservation. It was done within minutes. Upon getting here, when we checked in at the ranger station, the thing that was so awesome about it anyway is our very favorite spots. There is a row of, there's actually six spots here, but our favorite spots are space two and three. Those are the favorite places of ours. We always will park in here if we can and we found out that these happened to be tent spots. So the guys at the ranger station said that was perfect, that most of the time these spots are available because technically they are tent spots. They do have plenty of room for us to pull our van in here and we are welcome to do that. And they also have hookups. So if we need to, we have electricity here if we do need to plug in. Of course, usually we just bring our batteries, which that has been a little more difficult lately too because it has been so cloudy lately. It has really been hit or miss which days we are able to plug in our batteries to our solar panels or hook up our batteries to our solar panels in order to charge batteries to bring with us to run our TV and our DVD player. At least we do have enough panels and enough batteries that Bill has been able to charge them and keep some of them set aside on the days that we get sun at least for a couple of hours. And that has been really working great for us because we don't even have to get out of the van to plug in. We can just pull right in, sit here, eat our dinner. Tonight, Riley got to come with us for the trip. He was very happy to get out of the house too because him and Riley, man, they have really had trouble social distancing lately. They are just going stir crazy being trapped in the house. So Riley was happy that he got to come with us tonight. And of course we have baby wipes. We bring antibacterial um, gel, of course, hand sanitizer. What's the movie of the night? And the movie of the night, well, we actually got two. I had a rent one, get one free. So we have the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson and we have passengers. I know which one I'm voting for. Which one are you voting for? <laughs> We're opposite. So Nicole Brown Simpson. That's the one I was voting for. Really? I had it in this hand to turn around and show you that I was voting for this. Oh, there's really something going on in the world. <laughs> Husband and wives getting along together. Especially when you're trapped in the house together for long periods of time. What's so, for dinner? We also have KFC for dinner for Bill and Taco Bell for dinner for me because we have a KFC Taco Bell all-in-one restaurant, which makes it awesome because you can pick whichever one you want. So I hope you guys are being safe and social distancing and not going totally crazy, trapped in your house with your family. <laughs>
We just finished watching the movie, The Murder of Nicole Brown Simpson. It was good, it was very entertaining. Um, I don't know how much of it really is true and how much of it is Hollywood. Um, I was in high school at the time that this real life murder actually happened and I can remember bits and pieces of it but I don't remember all of the details. Um, I am actually interested to know if some of the things that were happening in this movie were truly happening in real life. It's very interesting and it makes it very confusing to know what really truly happened to her if the things in this that were portrayed in this movie were true to life but like i said i don't know about that but it was enjoyable i did like the movie um riley took a little nap through the whole movie so it was just fine to him as well he really liked it but we enjoyed our time here at the campground. We were very glad we were able to make a tent reservation so that we were able to come in and eat some dinner, watch a movie, relax, get out of the house safely for a couple of hours. It was really, really nice. So now we know how we can do it in the future if we need to. Um, this is a, because it's a thousand trails, we can come here anytime we want with our um, membership that Bill has from his family. So it's been really, really nice during this time and getting us out of the house for a little while. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing how we are staying safe and practicing our social distancing, but keeping our sanity as well. <laughs> don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.